What's going on YouTube? It's Toby A here, coming to you from Houston Carding Complex. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am in the two-seater. Yes, Toby A is in the two-seater. I am here with my girlfriend as one of the guys blow right past us. I'm here with my girlfriend and she wanted to try some of the things that she knows that I like to do and go-karting is one of them. Bless her heart, gotta love her dearly because it's not every woman you find that will actually try out some of the things that she knows her significant other likes to do, especially if it may seem dangerous. So as another person passes us, you know, I show her around the track, you know, I try to take it a little bit slowly so she's not too scared, um, at least not right now, because I know she was a little bit timid to get on a go-kart by herself because she's never been before. So I'm taking my time to show her around and at least hopefully allow her to get a little bit more comfortable. So I'm slowly going through this turn seven and then into turn eight and I tell her to you know, take control of the steering to get a feel of it. You know, it's, that is not too bad. And as you can see, I start to release and she starts to get the hang of it. She grabs the steering wheel and I completely release it. So now, my girlfriend is in full control of the steering wheel. Congratulations, I am so excited. I am in the passenger seat, well, in the driver's seat, you know, just smiling from ear to ear, full of excitement, full of joy. I'm still in full control of the gas and the brake pedal. You know, I don't know why they, I think they set it up like that so, um, you know, parents can go with their children and their children can also have a little bit of fun. But I'm going with her and I'm letting her enjoy controlling the steering while I control the speed. So I'm going a little bit slower through the corners to give her a bit of time to navigate through them. But I think she's doing pretty well. And later on in the video, I start picking up speed. But for right now, um, you know, she's still getting to know the track, still getting to know the cart. And uh, we're just here romantically enjoying our time. Um, my nickname for her is my honey, my darling. So if you happen to hear me say it um, once or twice in the video, please forgive. It's a habit. So um, here we are going through turn eight and uh, she's doing very well. I have no complaints. You know, I actually have my phone now. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I want to take a couple of selfies and a little bit of video uh, just to commemorate the day. You know, this doesn't happen every day where you actually get your girlfriend to come out and get on a go-karting track with you especially nigerian let me tell you something about nigerian women nigerian women do not do things like this very often it's just it's just not how they were built they just like doing things that are typically normal you know going to work you know being with their significant others movie dates dinner dates things like that go-karting is definitely not on the menu so here we are going through turn three and uh, she navigates it pretty well and little by little I start to give her more speed as I <laughs> take a selfie there and uh, I start to give her more speed through it. Turn 4 I think I was flat out through there and you can literally, you can literally hear her like squealing next to me <laughs> like what are you doing why are you going so fast <laughs> you know what uh, we're just here enjoying ourselves and enjoying this good time at this beautiful track uh, oh yeah, look at this. I actually have a video from my phone of this day so you can see how she's navigating on track next to me. All right, so one of the guys sneak right by us before turn nine and then we go into turn 10 and uh, I believe a little bit after this she starts to get tired because the steering is a little bit heavy especially if you go slower through the corners it's harder to move the steering wheel as much um, versus if you were you know going through it at full speed so i believe after this corner i take control and then i decide to show her what the go-kart can really do so we really start picking up speed through here I let it slide a little bit just to kind of maybe show off just a little uh, but I just wanted to you know let her know what the car can really do see how fast it can actually go 
and just maybe scare her a little bit just to add a little bit of excitement to our day so um, after turn five I'm going to fast forward to when she gets back in control of the steering wheel so here we are once again uh, approaching the chicane and I am flat out through here completely flat and slowly letting her get the feel of it you know she struggled getting out of turn two but it's okay we're not looking for shorter lap times or faster lap times we're just enjoying the day but holy lord jesus my honey what happened what happened there she just did not turn into turn three we literally headed straight for the barrier she did much better to be turn four i believe right on the apex perfect see she's learning she's learning little by little uh turn five she does well we lose a little bit of momentum here but it's okay it's okay we're not racing anybody we're just enjoying each other's company a nice go-karting dates me and Bay, and then traffic starts to catch up to us through turn seven and one guy gets by us so turn eight no problem we continue to go back on our romantic date and everything turn nine goes just fine and then turn ten uh oh bae bae what happened what happened <laughs> what happened so you know i assist her a little bit and navigate her a little bit wide so whoever was behind us could just you know get by us cleanly and as we're going along someone just sneaks by us and then something in my head just ticks and says no 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 i refuse to allow you to get past me and my girlfriend through the chicane in that manner and i said babe watch my beer i am going to chase this man down and thus i do it's time to activate race pace so i take him on the outside of turn three and i mistakenly put two wheels on the dirt but i recover as we turn four turn five block the apex so he can get can't get in front of me and we continue but the thing about this card is it has zero top end speed like none so i have to do everything i can to block this guy so I had to undercut him here he goes wide and then undercut him again a double undercut through turn seven and eight i end up ahead of him through turn nine and turn ten beautiful stuff beautiful however guess what happens another straight and there's nothing i can do I could I have my foot all the way to the floor but the cart just won't go any faster as we reach the top speed so turn two I was full beans into it didn't even lift he gives me a thumbs up because he sees that I caught right back up to him I think he went off there turn three took him on the inside well done however somebody else threw right he just goes right by us like we're not even moving so I see this guy here and I try my best to avoid him because I didn't want to, you know, get into any type of issues on track, especially if my girlfriend being on that side of the track. So we continue going and my opponent, cart number six, has returned, my arch nemesis. So here we go. I don't know, where is my girlfriend looking at? Back to turn seven. So in case you didn't know, the GoPro is actually on my helmet, which is on her head. So she's looking at me in the driver's seat. So as the checker flag comes, I am still determined to catch this guy. I refuse to let him go just like that without getting in front of him again. So I'm still chasing him down, even though he's at least a corner ahead of me. Same thing as usual. Lift a little bit, turn into turn two, carry that momentum out caught up to him a little bit but i'm pretty sure he's getting more real estate on me as he goes into turn three he does that all wrong thank you and i make up all of that time look at that look at that right behind them turn four stay right right need to be he goes wide he slides a little bit and this on this track sliding is just you chopping off time and i get right next to him but once again, the top end of the regular cart is just too much for the two-seater. And then we're going to call it a wrap there because that is the end. Thank you very much for watching. I had a wonderful time driving and enjoying it with my girlfriend. And I'm pretty sure she did. Till next time. Thanks.